In the opening of the film, it is explained that many years ago, there used to be a dragon stone. Magical stone, which had a lot of powers and by using those powers, demon creatures had come to our land, but that dragon stone gave power to humans along with the demon creatures using which humans made a lot of powerful weapons which could be used to fight against demons. Now because both the groups, humans and demons, had powers that's why a fight began between them and for many years, their fight went on, which has not ended till today. Then we see a scene of a forest where a woman and her daughter are running away in fear because there was a dangerous demon behind them who was constantly following them. Then to save her life, she hides behind a tree and sits there silently. The demon has seen them and it immediately attacks the woman and kills her and later, it eats her. Now that girl does not make any sound and keeps her mouth shut but the demon's tentacles were slowly coming towards her. To escape the girl started running but the demon also keeps following her because now it is going to kill this girl. Then after a while, the girl stops at one place because she was panicked and it seems like she isn't going to survive because that demon had also come very close to her and was looking terrible. Now as it jumps and attacks the girl, a boy comes from the front and puts his protective shield forward whom the demon collides with and falls at a far distance and the girl's life was saved. His name was Tenshi, who was actually a demon hunter whose job was to catch the demons and kill them. Then the two brothers of Tenshi, also come and they were also two demon hunters. Seeing these three demon hunters together, the demon gets scared and tries to run away from there but the three of them do not stop and were constantly following it. At the same time, they were beating it because all these demons had wreaked havoc everywhere. They were beating it again and again and finally, Tenshi cuts its throat and finished it off. There the girl was scared so she starts running but then there is a sudden blast behind her which scares her even more. She realizes that now she is in even great danger because there was a huge demon in front of her who looked like a dragon. It was also dangerous and powerful. Some demon hunters were fighting with it and were trying to stop it but the demon was not letting them stand in front of it. It was picking them up one by one and killing them and wasn't controlled by anyone. Here, the leader of the demon hunters was also there who was guiding them on how to attack this demon. They listened to their leader and attack it together but it still did not stop and was constantly killing them. Now here the three of them also come to fight that demon. Then those hunters also move forward to do their powerful attack seeing it that demon starts spitting fire from its mouth just like a dragon and was about to kill them. Meanwhile, the flying Tenshi comes and hits on its head which hurts the demon a lot but it is shown that the fireball the demon took out of its mouth moves towards the girl. Seeing it Tenshi, moves forward to save the girl but it was too late because the fireball goes close to the and girl explodes due to which she falls at a distance and her condition is about to die. In this explosion, Tenshi, also fell far. Those hunters still do not give up and were still attacking it with all their strength. They were going to that demon and making explosions due to which it was in a lot of pain and was also injured and was furious because of all this and was out of everyone's control. Here, it took out a small dragon from its mouth. Now soon, Tenshi, realized that small dragon is the weakness and greatest strength of this dragon. That's why he goes to attack it and soon, Tenshi, cuts that small dragon with his sword. Due to which the demon immediately dies and they know that was the only demon left. Now after this, there is no other demon on them and our world is now completely safe. Now that the demons are gone, it is obvious that the work of the demon hunters was also over. That's why they decide that now they will leave this work and live a normal life. Now the story goes a few years ahead where we see Tenshi and his brothers near a river. They were living a normal life leaving the work of hunting and had to face some difficulties. They did not even know how to live a normal life. They only hunted demons all their lives and caught them or now they were not even able to catch fish. All three of them were just leaving but then some people were staring at them and making fun of them that they are unsuccessful hunters. When the three of them left, a man comes here and the people who were making fun of them tell them that I have brought a special kind of liquor which a beautiful woman had given me. As he offers them the liquor, they consume it without hesitation. When Tenshi and his brothers come back to this place, they see a strange scene. That one man is lying on the ground and two people are eating him. It discovers that all of them have turned into fish-like demons which are looking terrible and dangerous too. Now they attack them but what did these demons know that they were teasing the wrong people? Because Tenshi holds the head of a demon and breaks it with his hands while his brother cuts the throat of the other demon with his sharp sword. Due to this, those demons die immediately. Now it discovers these demons are actually the men who had drunk liquor. After drinking it, he became a demon from a human. To find out about this, Tenshi and his brother go to the city so that they can get some clue. When they go to a house, they find a man unconscious in an injured state. This man was actually a demon hunter and someone injured him a lot and to treat him they take him to a hospital. 
They meet a girl named Layla, as she sees Tenshi, she recognizes him that he is the one who saved her life in her childhood. Actually, this girl was none other than the same girl whose life was saved by Tenshi, but she was injured due to the bomb blast but now she had grown up that's why Tenshi couldn't recognize her. That injured demon hunter tells Tenshi that he got the news that the demons are slowly coming back to Earth. To find out about this, I went to a liquor shop where I was feeling strange and I could smell the demons. I was feeling all this but then a dangerous demon attacked me and injured me badly. While telling his story, that man dies. After listening to that man, Tenshi, and his brother think that there must be something wrong in that liquor shop. That's why we have to go there and find out what's going on there, with this thought they leave. Reaching there, they slowly go inside the shop. The owner of this shop was making his workers drink that liquor and turning them into fish-like demons and one by one, he turns all his workers into demons. When Tenshi, and the others come inside, they see someone running behind them. After that they go to see what was that. Here, Layla, had also come with them but Layla becomes alone when they left that's why she was scared. As she was moving forward, a demon comes from the front and scares her. Then a demon comes from behind and as it was about to kill her, Tenshi comes and saves her but even then, they don't feel anything right. They were feeling that there is a dangerous and powerful demon around them. Now they were just thinking and that demon comes in front and attack them. Then to stop it, Tenshi fights with it but that demon was powerful that's why it catches Tenshi and tries to kill him. Here, Layla tries to save his life and changes into a fox demon which was her real form but she is a good demon. She attacks that bad demon with her big tail and hits that demon far by lifting it. The demon was separated from, Tenshi, that's why he was saved. Then that demon was about to run away but then, Tenshi's brothers catch it and tie it up. After that, they kill it. Now seeing, Lila's, real form, Tenshi, came to know that she was also a demon. As she was about to leave, Tenshi, holds her and asks her if you are a demon then why are you roaming as a human? And in between the humans, here, Layla, tells him that I am the same girl whom you saved in childhood from demons. I was injured when there was a blast and was about to die but the demon you ended, its blood was mixed in the water after it that water moves inside me through which I recovered but changed into a demon but I don't harm people and even don't eat them. Meanwhile, the governor of the city arrives and blames Tenshi and his brothers instead of thanking them. That this is happening because of you and you three are a reason for the demon's arrival so there is no place in this city for you, leave this city as soon as possible, here it discovers that the governor is doing all this on the saying of demon's master. As the demon master has fed poison into the governor and now blackmailing him that it should happen the same I am saying. My orders should be obeyed and if this will not happen I will not give you the medicine to recover this poison. And if there will be poison in you, you will die, the governor was obeying the demon master to make himself fine. He used to bring a girl every night for him and then throws her to a secret place, later, the demon master eats her because a dangerous monster was growing in the demon master who feels hungry every night. To fulfill his hunger the governor brought girls and they make that drink with the monster's tears that turn humans into demons. The governor has provoked the villagers against Tenshi, and his brothers, the villagers treat younger brother of Tenshi, badly. A thick thing was stabbed in his belly and he was about to die but Tenshi's brother arrives but the villagers were also ready to attack him and as he moves forward the villagers shoot arrows at him. He advanced to rescue his brother without regard for his own life, yet he was also struck by numerous arrows that makes him injured and seeing him getting weak the villagers attack him. Now because he was injured so he couldn't stop this huge attack alone, he falls down and pouting his last breath. When Tenshi, the hero of this story arrives, he gets surprised to see the worst condition of his brothers. His brother was still alive so he takes him to, Lila's, hospital immediately and says we have to save him somehow. Layla, says seeing his condition that he is badly injured and it is impossible to save him but there is a way that is Dragonstone which means we can save him if we will have Dragonstone. Now Tenshi, and Layla, move to the mountains where the Dragonstone was. They find the demon master as they reach there because of whom this was happening and he doesn't let them go inside. He fights with Tenshi, and he keeps on fighting with him for a long time and is dominant over him but Tenshi, finally, ends him while stabbing the sword in his chest. Meanwhile, Layla, sees a demon having many tentacles comes out of its cage and attacks Layla. She also comes in her fox demon get up and fights with it but it was so powerful that Layla, was nothing in front of it. She couldn't even touch it meanwhile, the demon moves into Tenshi's brother's body and was controlling him it stabs all its tentacles in him one by one and spreads in his body after a while. Seeing it, Tenshi, moves forward to stop him and it stabs its tentacles in his belly due to which he falls down being injured. Now the demon that was in Tenshi's brother's body has become powerful and changed into a huge creature. 
there was fire in its body and has come in its real form and moving toward the city while ruining everything. It was huge in size and now spreading destruction in the city, the citizens were also ready to attack it with weapons. They also fire bullets to stop it and the fireballs were also thrown at it but it was huge in size so those small attacks weren't affecting it, it was attacking them in return. Tenshi comes while flying to stop it and sticks with it meanwhile, he sees his brother stuck with it somewhere. This creature will die if he will take out his brother because it couldn't use its powers when it will not have any human. Before he could do anything, this huge creature sees Tenshi and makes him fall down while hitting him. Now because of falling from height, he gets faint then we found there were many demon hunters in this village who were living like ordinary people but seeing this situation, they take their weapons and move forward to stop that creature. They were attacking it repeatedly but the creature was beating them and seeing it. The demon hunters use their real power and start doing blasts while moving upside that creature. Meanwhile, Tenshi gets a different power that was of Layla, because he died when the creature fell him at that time, Layla saved his life while using Dragon Stone, later, she sacrificed herself for Tenshi, after it, her powers transferred into Tenshi, and now he has become more powerful. He beats that creature a lot while using his power and even destroys many parts of its body later, he becomes successful in ruining its balance, doing this, he moves to the place where his brother was stuck. He tries to release his brother means to separate him from that creature but he sees that creature stab its tentacles into him. His brother will die if he will take out his brother but because he doesn't want to lose him so he doesn't do this. The next moment, his brother asks him to end him because this is the only way to stop this creature and save humanity. Tenshi doesn't want to do this but he has to because if this will not happen that creature will destroy the city while ending everyone. Now he ends his brother with his hands and obviously, that creature also dies. The citizens become happy because the trouble was over but Tenshi was sad because only he knew what he lost in order to save humanity, important people in his life, his brothers and Layla. Only he is aware of the pain he was experiencing at the time. His gloomy face is displayed as the story comes to a close.